Rivian has essentially admitted to stealing Tesla's battery secrets after settling a lawsuit with the company yesterday. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. Thanks for tuning in and thank you for supporting us on YouTube. Guys, thanks for subscribing to the channel. We're about to hit 250,000 subscribers, but also YouTube members. Really appreciate you guys. If you'd like to be a member of the channel, I'll put a link in the description. Rivian have settled a lawsuit with Tesla. This lawsuit has been ongoing for quite a while now. It's in relation to Tesla's 4680 battery cells. Tesla, well, Tesla claimed that Rivian had essentially hired ex-Tesla or Tesla employees, poached them from the company in order to appropriate Tesla's battery technology. Now, a lot of the media are saying that this is in regards to Tesla's 4680 battery cells. But really, the truth is, I believe the reason is that Tesla, well, Tesla had been working on dry electrode coating technology. Now, this technology has now, it's now being used by battery manufacturers in China because it is legit. It is good. It works. And it massively reduces the cost to manufacture batteries. I did a video last week, in fact, on one big battery company who now utilize this technology and they say it saves approximately 20 to 30 percent of the cost to make a battery i believe that it was rivian's intention to potentially use their own version or kind of copy that technology keep in mind tesla actually bought a company called maxwell batteries they bought this company for 330 million something like that dollars us dollars uh, several years ago, and it was just for the dry electrode coating process technology, which didn't even work that well. Tesla had Tesla have taken many years to refine it and actually get it to work. Now, Tesla are finally putting an end to this lawsuit with Rivian after they accused Rivian of stealing employees and trade secrets back in 2020. It's been going on now for four years. What has happened is Rivian have settled. So Rivian have obviously paid Tesla a fee, and that's Essentially, they've tacitly agreed that, yeah, there is some merit to this case. If Rivian, uh, if there was no facts and no merit to this case, Rivian would not have agreed to pay Tesla a fee or to settle. A detailed report from Bloomberg on Friday says that Tesla reached a conditional settlement with Rivian and expects to seek dismissal of the trade theft lawsuit by December 24. So essentially, uh, Rivian have said, yeah, okay, yeah, fair enough, we'll pay you this fee and let's put it behind us. Rivian apparently displayed an alarming pattern of poaching employees and stealing intellectual property from Tesla. So, I mean, you've got websites like Electric saying that, um, they're basically saying that Tesla should have just given this stuff to Rivian because uh, Tesla's patents are open source and what are they thinking suing Rivian? They should have just given it to them. That in my opinion is utterly insane. I mean, <laughs> it's just, that people would say this stuff, it's so sensational and ridiculous. But that said, when Tesla initially filed the lawsuit in 2020, the company said that there have been multiple employees involved and the company in 2021 widened the suit to include battery technology specifically. So actually Tesla was saying, Rivian weren't just trying to appropriate their battery technology, they were trying to do this for multiple areas, software and other areas. In fact, Tesla said some employees were caught red-handed stealing the company's most core technology when lifting batteries. So basically, this was a strategy from, from Rivian to employ Tesla's staff in their company and be able to basically take away those, that, those core technologies from Tesla and use them at Rivian. So the point here of Tesla's lawsuit was not necessarily about the money. Tesla had plenty of money. They got many, many billions of dollars in cash. What have they got now? Nearly $30 billion in cash sitting there. They're not looking for cash. They're looking to stop Rivian from basically using this practice. They're saying, Rivian, if you're not going to stop employing our, you know, taking out key employees from our business, paying them exorbitant amounts of money to work for your company, more than what any logical company would pay them, simply because they have secret or access to our technology that we don't want to share with other companies, then we're going to have to take you to court in order to stop this practice. So that was, I believe, Tesla's real reason for why they did this. Now, not unlike the Rivian case, Tesla sued XPeng in 2019, claiming that a former employee stole specific code related to autopilot. 
Tesla settled with uh, with that employee in 2021. So it is true that this staff member from Tesla did take Tesla's autopilot source code, give it to Xpeng. To be honest, I don't think that source code was actually very good back in 2019. It was probably almost useless compared to what they have today. But this is unfortunately a common thing that uh, companies do. Tesla also launched a lawsuit against Chinese chip designer Bing Ling, claiming that the company stole trade secrets from it. In June, a man also pleaded guilty to stealing proprietary manufacturing information from Tesla with the intent to sell the trade secrets. Now, there's been numerous cases like this. This is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to um, staff from big in big companies leaving and sell essentially selling that data to other companies. And this is a practice, in my opinion, is so common that I think jail time is the only way to get rid of it. I think it's it's become a major problem in the industry. And I don't think this is... Um, I don't think this is fair. I don't believe people should be able to do this stuff and just get a little slap on the wrist. I think they should be going to jail in order to dissuade people from, you know, essentially stealing, stealing multi-billion dollar trade secrets and selling it for their own profit to other companies. But what are your thoughts? Do you agree with me? Let me know in the comments. Quite a few people have been saying, you know what, Tesla, Elon Musk, you should buy Rivian. You know, save Rivian. We all think Rivian's in trouble. A lot of Americans think Rivian will go bankrupt. And they think that Tesla, or at least Elon Musk himself, should purchase the company. Now, Tesla have responded to these comments. Here's what they said. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. We'd love to have you at the Sydney EV show which is in, um, what, three weeks. I'll put a link in the description uh, to get tickets cheap. Also, guys, if you want to, uh, my solar system just created 142 kilowatts of energy yesterday, which is a record for me. It's enough to charge two Tesla Model Ys from zero to 100%, which is crazy. But if you want to use the solar company that I use, they were great. I'll put a link in the description below. Now, Elon Musk has responded to calls for Tesla to buy Rivian. These are not new calls, by the way, that people have been saying to Tesla to Elon for a long time now by Rivian. I should point out though, Elon Musk did say he thought Rivian um, are in trouble quite a while ago and he thought Rivian was making decisions that weren't wise. He thinks that Rivian is kind of scattering their money around too much. They need to focus on one central location, focus on efficiency, focus on a couple of core metrics, you know, to a small number of vehicles, kind of like Tesla does with the Model Y and the Model 3. Recently though, he heard that the Volkswagen Group invested $5 billion into Rivian. And I, I mean, he and everyone else was curious. They said, he must said, where's the Volkswagen Group getting the money from? Because obviously the Volkswagen Group has $200 billion of debt. Their sales are falling, particularly in China. And it doesn't make sense in his mind, which I get. 